Okay, so today we're, we're talking about uh, the ark. That's part of the message today. <clears throat> the Philistines had captured the ark many years ago and taken away from the Israelites. And when they did that, plagues overcame the Philistines. And the Philistines said, we got enough of this. So they put it on a cart and with a, a mule and said, we'll let it go wherever it feels like. And the cart went back to the Israelites' territory. And the Israelites, they were glad to get it back. But they put it in a barn for 70 years. The ark, they put it in a barn for 70 years. Okay, where does the ark belong? In the temple. So I was thinking about how we could interact as children here. And I thought, where do we belong? Where do we belong? In the church? Well, some of you will have activities in school that you belong with. You belong to the school. You enjoy being there. You enjoy doing the activities. We know that Kinsey enjoyed being in the play, right? Have you got any more plays coming? We'll see. So that's a place you can go where you belong, right? Uh, you might have a club. You might, you might feel like you belong at work, that you, you go to enjoy work and enjoy yourself. You enjoy being with the other people. Hopefully, you feel like you belong at home. Right? When you go home. So, what is it that ties all those things together that tells you you belong? Church, home, school, work, clubs. Now, this is deep philosophical thinking here, so that might not, you may not get this one. You belong to God. Community. In service. Some, type of service. Some type of service. How about <clears throat> you belong where you are loved. You feel like you belong because you are loved there. If you go to work and, and you hate it and everybody hates you, you're not going to feel like you belong. If you go to school and you get picked on all the time and nobody likes you and gives you a hard time, you're not feeling loved. You don't feel like you belong. Even at home, if you don't feel like you're loved, you're going to want to get out of there. You feel like if you love, if you're loved, you feel like you belong. Hopefully you all feel love in this congregation, you feel like you belong. Because we do love each and every one of you. And who loves us the most? God. God. Yeah. That's the Jesus answer. You can always say that in Sunday school. Yes, Jesus. He gave his life for us. And we need to seek... God, who loves us, to realize that love and interaction both ways. So in your, in your prayer life and everything else, you can say, God, I know you love me. I want to learn to love you in return. And he'll work with you, answer your prayers. You may not be the answer you like, but he'll answer your prayers. You'll work together. Let's pray. God, we know that you love us. You sent Jesus to the cross on our behalf so that we could have a way to come back and love you. Help us to live in that love and enjoy each day. Amen.